What's going on? Raven Ritual 666 back from the dead with some more Diablo 4 content. Today, I want to talk about the new unique staff, the Vox Omnium, and is it any good? So first, let's take a look at the Vox Omnium and what the staff does. So it comes with a, a passive of lucky hit chance. The four affixes that it comes with is firstly intelligence, which is really nice. Core attack speed, which is awesome. What is the best affix it has is non-physical damage. This can come with up to 150% non-physical damage, which is kind of insane. Now, if you get that with a GA, that would therefore be like 75% more. So what, 225% non-physical damage. And then two to four basic skills. So how does the staff actually work? Well, let's have a look. Casting a core skill additionally fires two instances of Firebolt, Frostbolt, or Spark, matching the elements of your last two non-core skills cast. These projectiles can do anywhere from 48% to 90% increased damage. Okay, so what this means is if you're running defensive skills or conjurations with your sword, every time you cast a lightning defensive skill or a conjuration, you get a free basic cast of spark. Um, vice versa, if you run cast flame shield or hydras, the next time you cast a core skill, you get a basic cast of firebolt. If you cast ice armor or ice blades, the next time you cast your core skill, you're going to get a cast of frostbolt. So how can we kind of make this work into a build? Is this good or is it not? Well, we're yet to determine However, the first thing we can say is that non-physical damage is absolutely amazing for your damage if you're a sorcerer. So, I've been messing around with a bit of a chain lightning build and I've been putting a couple extra points in to get some free mana. Now, Spark, it's quite nice for, right? Because Spark can chain up to three additional enemies. Um, it has a 40% chance uh, to chain further. And if not, uh, it instead does... 20% increased damage to its primary target. You also get a little bit of crit chance, but it's additive, so it's yeah. So let's have a look at how it works. Okay, firstly, I'll just cast Chain Lightning. See Chain Lightning. Uh, we get our one stack of Tower Rashes, thanks to Andarials. But now, if I cast Ice Armor, okay, I've got my free fourth stack of Tower Rashes. Now, you can see that I'm doing a, a Frost Bolt. Free Frost Bolt after casting Ice Armor. Now, if I do Flame Shield and I cast Chain Lightning, what you'll see here is two Firebolts come out. Two Firebolts. Three Firebolts. It's a little bit of extra damage. It's nothing special. But what's kind of cool when running Chain Lightning is when I cast, let's say, Lightning Spear and I get all the extra stacks from Spark that I can go into my ultimate. Again, I can teleport more stacks of spark which keep on chaining and I can really start getting some pretty good damage in my rotation and you'll see we'll hit up to at times 8 million damage which is super nice so the damage from the non-physical is huge so let's go to what's more meta for chain lightning which is lightning rod blade on a sword for the crit damage and aspect of shredding blades for the additional uh, vulnerable actually I'm running it here so I should be running storm soil but either way Let's look at one cast. So this, ice armor. I'm actually doing more damage with the Vox Omnium, which is kind of crazy here. So, where are the pros and where are the cons? Well, looking at the Vox Omnium, the pros is definitely the non-physical damage, like getting upwards of 300% once it's triple mass work is kind of insane. It's a lot of damage. I guess the con of it is its actual functionality. Like casting a core skill gives you two instances of a basic. Like that is not very useful in too many builds. And the problem with running this on a two-handed weapon means you can't run two additional aspects. Um, I'm running one right now because of that change. So, pros is just a flat damage. But yes, you are going to lose two aspects, which will overall additionally help your build. 
However, the Vox Omnium is just so much fun to play. I've had a ton of fun messing around with this, making it work. Uh, let's have a look at some of my Chain Lightning gameplay, uh, where I'm just blasting through a Pit 90, just using the Vox Omnium, getting that free stack of Tower Rasher. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about the verdict at the end. Do we think it's good or do we think it's bad? I think it's got some awesome positives, but at the same time, some negatives. So, firstly... The Vox Omnium looks so cool. Like, it is my favorite looking star, and it's so aesthetically pleasing. So, just jumping into a Nightmare 90. Uh, it's a Chain Lightning build that I've been cooking up at the moment. It's not completely finished. There's a little bit more I need to do from the mana regen. <laughs> but as you can see, we're, we're just clearing through enemies so quickly. Uh, if you look at my hot bar here, you can see we've got the four stacks of Tau Rashes. It's up consistently because of the amount of times that I can cast Ice Armor. Um, I love the fact that the extra AoE damage it does after casting a Lightning Spell, aka my Lightning Spear or Teleport. Uh, the damage buff is really nice. The attack speed is pretty good still. Um, it's because... You don't really feel like you lose as much attack speed with it because it comes with core attack speed. Right, that is so good when you're playing a Chain Lightning or a core build. Now, how else could we potentially use this staff to be more beneficial? <clears throat> well, maybe an Incinerate build. Um, I, I'm tempted to play around with running uh, an Incinerate build, using Flame Weavers, and therefore getting free casts of Firebolt, which will split off the Flame Weavers and increase your damage. You might get some value out of that um, with Firewall. So th that could be a fun build to test with this. But again, it, it's not many builds when you're running a four core skill build that you want the additional basic skills. So overall, I would love to see this unique be a basic build unique, right? Make sure that you have... Um, every time you cast a basic skill, you get another basic skill. So overall, is the Vox Omnium good or bad? Well, it's not the best, it's not the worst. But overall, all I can say is it's a pretty fun staff to play with. Alright guys, that's all for now. Please, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's completely free. Uh, come visit me live on Twitch, and I'll see you all in the next one.